Hey, my name is John Lawson and I'm the CEO of Third Power Outlet. I'm here on Career Fuel basically because I started a career by selling product online. And I started it actually on eBay to the point where we were selling a lot of stuff and became a platinum level power seller. After that, Amazon started opening up their platform to third party sellers and we moved and transitioned some of our products over to there. And now I'm a top rated seller on the Amazon platform as well. I've done probably like 25 to $30 million in transactions. I think I was born an entrepreneur. I was working at a consulting firm and I enjoyed the job because it gave me the opportunity to work with a lot of different companies and in a lot of different areas. However, I still was not focused like the other people on my job was because I was always in my head trying to think of different ways to get more money. And ultimately I decided to flip a house but I didn't flip it well, and I ended up almost going broke and bankrupt. And that is how I basically started my own business, selling books, used books on eBay, which were books in my house, and I just started selling those to make extra cash to pay for this house that was supposed to make me a millionaire. Staples and Office Max and Office Depot used to do things like free after rebate products. And one of the free after rebate products that I picked up on was printers. And me and my partner used to go through the sales circular on Sunday morning and find the printers that were free after rebate because you know it's not the printer that they're really selling. They want to get you hooked on the ink. So we would buy these free after rebate printers, open the box, take the ink out, take the printer out, put the printer back in, and create an ad on eBay for an open box brand new printer and a different ad for some ink cartridges. And that's kind of when the aha moment came because we were getting products for basically free and we were making a lot of profit. That's kind of like unbelievable profit. You can't do that all the time, but it was the moment where I said, man, I could do this for a living. As you go along in your business, there, there's always this one thing, something seems to happen that will propel you from here to here. And my experience was a little doll called Tickle Me Elmo. And for some reason, I just knew that doll was going to be big when it first came out. One Saturday, we filled a whole van load of nothing but Elmos. And we held those Elmos for about four weeks until they ran out of Elmo's in all the stores. And then I started selling them up to $250 a piece. Yes, grandma would pay $250 so her grandbaby would get that toy. And that was a booming season for us. I sold a lot of stuff. But ultimately we niched out because at some point you want to find something that you can find all the time. You know, I think that really becomes when it became a business for us. So we needed repeatable items we could find all the time. And I had an importer that I went over to and they sold a lot of hip hop gear and something went off in my head. It's like, wow, I could sell that. And then ultimately today I niched it even further. Now I really just deal with shoelaces. And when I tell people I sell shoelaces, one of the things people are like, well, shoelaces, how do you make enough money on shoelaces? Of course you can make enough money on anything. Stop always thinking about the most sexy thing you can sell. You don't have to sell iPods and TVs to make money. And if you can actually take one cent and make it into two cents over and over and over again, you'll be a millionaire, literally. If you put your effort into your idea and you've got it really solid, you can do it. Because if I can do it, I know anybody out there can do it. And I actually have a new book that's coming out called Kick-Ass Social Commerce for Epreneurs. So that's for me and you guys. And it really just details how I ended up with 56,000 followers on Twitter, you know, thousands of people in my e-commerce group on Facebook. It really just tells you as a solopreneur, small business owner, entrepreneur, how to harvest that goodwill that you get from your followers and turn that into cash. 
So guys, hey, I'm always open. I love talking to small business owners. If you ever want to reach me, all you have to do is look me up, Colder Ice, C-O-L-D-E-R-I-C-E. -E. Put that in Google, you will find me. Or you can go to Facebook and look up the e-commerce group. That's a free group we've created on Facebook. It's got over 2,000 members, and we'd love to have you over there with us, all right? I'll talk to you later. Peace.